I had to get special, you have to use diamond cutting uh, burrs in order for build to work. I bought, I bought these online. Um, they were like 22 bucks Canadian on Amazon and uh, you have a whole bunch of them. I used, as you can tell, a lot of them because uh, the numbers are big. It makes a real big mess too because you need water with it and when you're using water uh, it, it turns it into dust vapor or water vapor and it goes everywhere. I made a huge mess so if you want to do this in your shop make sure that you surround it with something in order to protect it from flying everywhere. It takes forever. It takes about an hour and a half per letter to do this and a hammer and chisel would obviously take a lot less time but I decided to do it this way which is probably not the best. So um, now I've got it finished. Now I need to seal it. We're going to use professional stone sealer here that we got and um, it seems to work pretty good. I'm supposed to work this in every 15 minutes as well so that um, in order to maintain a, a really high level of sealant because this is going to be outside don't forget in the elements and where we live um, nothing does well here because it's so wet all the time so we're going to seal this in really good and I'm going to come back every 15 minutes and uh, and rub it in just to make sure. Now that I've uh, applied the sealer uh, for the whole, um, for everything, I'm going to now put on, this is uh, called a metal leaf um, sealer, specifically for this, this is a company called uh, Speedball, and it's called Mona Lisa. You can get this at art stores or, or places like that. I'll put it's, this on right now. It's, uh, you're supposed to brush it on very carefully. According to what it says, you have to stir it and shake it. I've shaken it. So let's see how it goes. It's white inside. You can see that? It's white in there. It says do not overbrush, and I don't, hopefully that doesn't mean overbrush as in going outside what I'm trying to uh, put the gold leaf on. So hopefully I haven't made too much of a mess over here. It dries clear in 15 to 30 minutes, it says. It has to be uh, applied at room temperature. There, so I'm gonna leave it now for 15, 20 minutes. And according to their instructions, I can actually just clean this with soap and water. Okay, now it's time to put on the uh, the size or the glue. This is uh, the stuff that I'm using right here. It's called Mona Lisa by Speedball. It's a metal leaf glue, or they call it size, um, old English word for it. So apparently you're supposed to stir it up first before you put it on. It's got to sit here for about. Um, uh, I think it's 30 to it gets tacky about 30 to 45 minutes apparently so we'll see how that all works out so now I'm going to apply the the size or the glue supposed to not let it puddle so I'm trying to be careful here not to let it puddle to be a thin coat because the uh, gold leaf is so thin. As sparingly as possible with it because obviously it'll probably bubble or something or take a longer to dry or, or something silly like that so I'm trying to be very sparing with it and uh, hopefully it'll um, be enough obviously because <clears throat> we've got it's not soaking in because uh, we've got the um... okay there we go the size is done and 
apparently the brush cleans up with soap and water. This is all completely new territory, of course. I'm actually going to apply the gold leaf, so it's just going to see how this works. Gold leaf, this is real gold leaf. Um, it comes, this is 100 sheets. I paid like $63 Canadian for this. And um, so the gold comes in these very thin, there's what gold looks like. It's real gold, 24 karat gold. So we're gonna put this in, apparently you just low it down, layer it down like this. Let's see how it actually goes in here. And use a, this is a brush, a, a blush brush, and um, to what they call ponce it in. So I'm gonna see how that works. Yeah, it, um, it's very, very fine, super fine. This is actually edible as well, so for people who want to do cake decorations can use it, um, that kind of thing. So, so this, is, this is kind of how it goes. You put it in like that. Um, and we'll see how it actually, any of the excess stuff, I guess, apparently is supposed to be able to be easily brushed off. So we'll see. It's definitely an art, which I've never done this before. So, um, we'll see how it goes. I think there is a knack to it that I'm not, you know, because I'm not, this is the first time for me to do this kind of thing. I do not profess to be, this is my, it's a professional job by any means. This is a pretty amateur job. So, um, you know, if you're doing this for the first time, um, you know, you probably just have to be careful how you lay this down. Because uh, again, I'm probably messing it up. Anybody who's in the business will probably look at it and go, oh, he did it all wrong. <laughs> So here's the finished product. Again, it's pretty rough. Anybody who's a sign maker, etc., etc., would probably throw up at this job. But it's, you know, it's the best that I can do with um, my limited understanding of how to do it. And so, is that it's pretty rough, but um, you know, from a distance, it should look okay. So, um, if you're going to do a project like this, good luck. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, it's something I just did from the from off the cuff. All the best. God bless. Mm -hmm.